musical Evita for Piper Gillis and Paul Poirier. Caroline, who has taught Paul Poirier for 20 years, moved to tears, I am sure. And the performance continues. With Piper and Paul. They had wanted to use the Evita music many years ago, not deeming it right or fit. And what an amazing choice it is. So wonderful that they've returned. I had a 
off the street. Well, challenging season last year, world bronze medalist in Stockholm. And not able to consolidate that in Montpellier. So moved themselves by their commitment. And yet they've returned potentially with a, a different mindset. All saying it's really nice to have medals, but they don't, don't transform the, who you are as a person. And yet these experiences will be transformative to them. And for the last Olympic cycle, Pap Papadakis and Cicero seemed unbeatable. French Olympic champions revolutionizing ice dance and reshaping the fashion of the discipline. Good at the start of this new Olympic cycle, Piper and Paul create work that is more incredible and would be totally deserving of it. As I mentioned yesterday in the rhythm dance, Paul committed 10 years to a successful senior partnership with Vanessa Crone. He was an Olympian with her. Piper previously skated with Zachary Donahue, and I'm sure it must have been challenging to see her former partner go on to medal at the Olympic Games. So they would be rightfully rewarded with the success that they can enjoy now. With potentially finance that Town is one of the best ever. As I said yesterday, one of the nine judges would have given them a world record score in the rhythm dance. Lots of 9.75s. Some 9.75s and 9.5s on their score sheet from the judges yesterday. Wow. <laughs> and now 131.69. That better than the free dance score that took them to a world bronze medal in Stockholm. Rightly rewarding. Piper Gillis and Paul Parry with their second win on the Grand Prix, a ticket to the Grand Prix final. And a loud sounding bell that they could be becoming now the favourites.